Hello again, everybody. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Dynasty Roundtable. I am Chris, along with Joel, Jonathan, and Dave. Today, we're going to talk about a question that is really important on some people's minds, especially ones that I would say are honest people. Uh, is it possible to be too honest? Um, personally, I believe it's not possible to be too honest. I think you should be honest all the time, but I have some people here who believe that uh, occasionally you can be too honest. Sentimental bitches. Thank you, cameraman. First time in history of cameraman talk. But, uh, Dave, you're one of those people. What do, what do you I think? think? How can you possibly be too honest? Come back to me. Cause <laughs> <laughs> it's just a shot, dog. It's just a shot. Uh, okay, Jonathan. Uh, oh, yeah, are you one of those people who believe? I, don't, I didn't even ask you the question before. Are you one of those people that believe that you can be too honest at any time? Well, I'm glad you asked that question, Chris. What do we all Because eat? here's the thing. This nigga soup <laughs> Did you just call him a soup eater? Hold on, time out. I, I, I'm getting word from the back. <laughs> I'm getting word from the back. Uh, let me apologize to all our subscribers, all 22 of them. Uh, you know, we are. Uh, you know, our interns, you know, we have a new caravan. <laughs> this is bloopers, just remember. <laughs> Stop it's going to be the okay, it, okay, it's a gag reel. No, Sorry. Continue. All right, anyway. so, uh, John, to go ahead with the question that we all asked. Sure, what's good? I mean, <laughs> is, there, is there a way that you can actually be too honest? It actually depends. Uh, as Chris earlier said, I, uh, I agree. <laughs> You're wrong, saying uh, too many times. There's nothing wrong with being honest, and everybody <laughs> should be honest. But if you actually care about people's feelings, which I don't, uh, I guess that you can yeah, be did. too honest. <laughs> Dave, you just hit the Dave, you just hit the daily double. I just want you to let you learn. You just hit the daily double. Brutally honest, right there. Whatever. He honestly doesn't care about my feelings. That's fine. Joel, what do you think? Yeah, definitely. You can definitely be too honest. I Me mean, as a person who crosses that boundary uh, quite often. Just to be honest, you can be too honest. And uh, for example, if okay, because I was supposed to ask you, how how can you possibly be too honest? By saying something that would, uh, you know, hurt the person. Somebody, so you know, if you can self-incriminate yourself by saying like, you know, I. <laughs> how about how about for how about a female saying she's five five one eighty and claiming to be thick. <laughs> which is a, yeah, which, you know what which is really fat. That used to be a problem back in the day in 2003 so. when the word thick was at its peak. Every black woman was going around saying, "Oh, I'm not fat. I'm thick. I'm not fat. I'm thick." And you see rolls all over the place, including rolls in places you don't know, normal people don't even have places. That is fat. That's not thick. So I'm glad you brought that up, cameraman Dante. But, I mean, I'm glad you brought that up. Her girl is ugly and she's not dressed nice. And she's like, "Well, do I look cute?" You know. Sometimes I might make the mistake of saying you don't. Which How's is that a mistake? She needs to know that. Right. Look, if you're going around, walking around with hair looking like Nicki Minaj, and you think you look cute, somebody needs to tell you the truth. You're not you're, cute. You're Bitch, you ugly. You're unnecessarily, that's real. you know, hurting somebody's feelings. And yeah. You know if you want to show yourself. But that's not being that brutally, but that's not being too change, honest. Because then there's, this, there's that limit where you want to let them know. A good friend should not let their ugly... What if I'm not Girl at all? or friend or whatever she is to you walk out the door that is not like that she set herself up before she even <laughs> you said what got out into the public that, that morning tea, you know Joe. what I mean that's not tea oh. and it, it, it happens all the time <laughs> but that's not being brutal that's not being too honest that's just being honest to a friend being too honest is more so like you said self incriminating where you have a wife and she asks you what you do last night and you go instead of saying oh I just hung out with the fellas which is probably what you did in addition to what you really did was go to the strip club you know. I went and hung out with the fellas at the strip club. And I slammed a dick in a, one of them females. I smacked the girl with a... Yeah, I smacked the girl <laughs> in the face with my dick. That's being too honest. What the hell? What is with you and your obsession? Never mind. All right, so... <laughs> what? You know, personally, personally the people good. out there, you know, and um, you know, I know not all of you all know me. You know, I've seen some people watching in Australia, and I thank all my people in Australia, but they only watch my video, uh, Top 5 Action Movies, um, which is in the link below. But, um, so... The bottom line is, and I, you know, I, I digress, because um, I'm forgetting what I'm saying at this point. Uh, so I'm rambling, and I apologize for rambling, but um, I'm gonna continue rambling. Oh yeah, so I, I tell the truth that like 
98 percent of the time. It's very rare that I lie. So you just lied ten minutes ago. For what? When you told. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, when you told someone to be a little too honest, when you told someone that we will be doing a Harlem Shake video. No, I didn't. I you might serious. not be lying. I don't believe you. No, I was serious. I said we can do a Harlem Shake video after this video. <laughs> and we are going to do a Harlem Shake. So check out our Harlem Shake is going to be in the link below. Now, it, unfortunately, it might only be Jonathan doing it, but that will be a Dynasty exclusive. That's how it starts. <laughs> That's how you know. That's how it starts. He's right. <laughs> he said he's right. I'm mad he pointed to me, and of course the camera didn't see him point. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this video is chaotic. Uh, <laughs> this is a good one. But well, someone told you, day. like, you know, are you a member of, you know, Somebody gave you like a life or death question. If you answer this way, if you answer which would be honest, I'll kill you. Then you lie like shit. I'm like, oh, nah. <laughs> like, nah. What does that have to do with anything? Because if you being too tell the truth, you're being too honest because you're now dead. You used to call sucking for getting all right, that situation. All right, all right, all right, let's say, for instance, all right, I got an idea. Jonathan made you that drink. Okay. He lied to you and told you that was tea. You now believe it. <laughs> okay? Because you were stirring that shit up for the last 20 minutes like it was tea. Who's that benefit? Really? Who's that benefit? It's come from Yeah. Man. Why would you lie? Why would I lie? Yeah. Why would you lie and tell him that's tea? What's really in that Entertainment? Yo. <laughs> What's really in that drink, Joe? <laughs> He's digressing. I, I personally believe I there's digress. no point in telling a lie because a lot of times most lies come out in the end. It's hard to cover up a lie. Sooner or later, somebody's going to slip up. Something's going to happen. You're going to find out. It could be a couple of days. could be a couple of weeks. could be a couple of years. But truth always comes out. There's no point in lying. Also, if you lie, it gives that person a chance to, the person who lied, I mean the person who you lied to, the belief, you know, just keep going and going and going. That's the problem with most addicts out here nowadays. Also known as a pathological liar. There's a pathological well, the video too. You know, I could have had somebody else be caring, man. You could have been in this one, Malta. <coughs> the video, too, isn't about, you know, just, you know, lying in truth. You know, you said being too honest. You know, so, you know, I can tell a half of a truth and not, you know. But that's that's what I meant earlier when I said, we you know, hung out with the guys versus I hung out with the guys, dot, 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 at the strip club. But you know damn well at the strip club is going to get you in trouble. But you, you told really the truth when you said I hung out with the guys. No, why, would, why would hanging out at a strip club get you in trouble? I mean, it depends. Like, for me, my, my wife, if she, I'm sure she's probably watching this video. Um, <laughs> she, 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 Leash she's unleashed. blocked from the Dynasty channel. She would not so, want Damn! Because she blocked me from uh, her videos. Damn! Because uh, that's not saucy at all. How do you block me from grass. YouTube? You just hit block. It's possible. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible because I saw it. Dave. He said it's possible because I was blocked. You yeah, said, I was blocked. You said 15 words Why? in the past 8 minutes we and 15 seconds. It's I'm going to need you to have more input. I, I, I tell the truth at all times. Hey, hey, hey. They're, they're, they're me. I'm are you digressing? <laughs> <laughs> you digre yeah, are, you are you digressing? Let me know. Dave, have you ever lied? Yes. When? Did you feel the need to lie? Did you ever feel that you were ever being too honest? No. Why? Because you said it's a thing to be too honest, right? But I've never had those opportunities. So why did you lie? I'm not lying because I had to. What makes you feel like you had to lie? Because if you didn't lie, there would be great consequences. Yes. What is the, what could be so big in the consequences that you feel the need to lie? My life. Name job. A, job. Yeah, I thought boy. you were the man that gets like five jobs a month. But sometimes you have to lie to these white folks. Yeah, Mr. Canada, Mr. Canada Draft. <laughs> I'll be there five to ten, and they're really for hours. You know? That's unethical. <laughs> how, how important does it? Judge That's immoral. That? And you know what? <laughs> Everybody's. I hope that. anybody who's going to hire you in the future is not watching this video right now. And I've had experiences with you know uh, a few <laughs> the majority of the stable who have had that you know exact situation, including myself. Have said that when I knew I was not going to be there at the time when I said I was going to be there. I don't do that. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you like number one. I don't do it. When I say I'm going to be there, one. I have every intention of being there at that time. Now, whether it happens or, or, or whatever. whatever. One time I spent four hours outside. <laughs> waiting on you. But I tried to be there you at the time I said. Pause. That's, that's me too. I've, 
If I say I'm coming out, I have every intention of coming out. Right, I have there. every intention. I'm not lying. I have every right. intention of coming out at that time. If I say I'm going to be there Saturday at 2 o'clock, unless something happens... You didn't, you lied. That's not being... That's no, not no, being. that's not lying. That's something came up. I had every intention of being there Saturday at 2 o'clock, and something came up. Something came and up. I got there I Saturday glad, at 5, or Sunday at 6. WWE SmackDown. Something came up, and I'm still <laughs> playing the game. I'm still beating them. They running around the ring being afraid, you know? No, this was... I'm on my way. I'll be right there. I'm getting close. I'm, <laughs> All right, so right in that, case, that situation... Oh, 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 let me ask this. Has it, how many people have actually done that where they actually said, I want, somebody called and said, oh, hell, where are you? And they're like, yeah, I'm on my way. And your ass is sitting down right in front of the TV playing that video game. I have not done that. No, 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 no. I have not done that. I will say I haven't left yet. But sometimes, at the most, I'll say I'm around the corner. And I'm like, you know, around the corner of Beltway, and I'm 50 away. So, so yeah, that, I've done that. So that part, I'll say, okay, fine. But that's not me uh, being too honest, though. So we're talking about being too honest. I don't feel like you can be too honest. I just don't. You can't be too honest. You tell a girl, you you are looking fat in the jeans. So that's a lie. You saying, you know? Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. I, I, she I'm needs a, to know I'm she's paid. fat. I'm gonna pay that bill, but I had no intentions of paying it. This doesn't just, this is not exclusively to fat girls. Skinny girls are guilty too. Wearing things that are skin tight, thinking that it's gonna protrude or show something that's not there. Okay? I mean, that's what You know? I mean, it's like, I mean, I'm, sometimes um, I'm too honest. I had a, I had a lady call me three from minutes financial aid and, and said, uh, Are you gonna pay this bill? I said, I had no intentions. 20 seconds. <laughs> 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 That's brutally honest. That's, that's, that's being too honest because then they go like, well, uh, no intentions. put the papers away. No intentions. You, you, gets, you gets no loan. You know, that's, no that's being too honest. All right, well, I'm going to be too honest with you. Yeah, we all believe, you know, I don't think anybody at this table believes there's a such thing as, you know, I mean, that there's not a such thing as being too honest because I think we all use it in our lives, you know, just to get, you know, just to get through. I mean, you, sometimes you have to... You know, maybe there was one incident, you know, we're absolutely. in Vegas, and whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but we're in Vegas, and we're in a club, line a club, and, you know, one of the bouncers might be too honest and say, your eyes are too low and you can't come in. You was being too honest right there. Why you got to tell me my eyes are low? My eyes aren't low. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, right? No. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure, sure. You know what I'm saying? I've been too honest one time. I went to a oh, blind see. date with Chris, and I told the girl that he had a baby on the way. And I told that I was jobless. And what else did I tell you? No, that was speed dating, sir. We were going speed dating, and the woman that I actually was attracted speed to, dating. you went to one with her before I did, and you told her I was attracted to my best friend, and I don't know why he's here, because he had a baby on the way. So when I get to her, and I'm finally about to talk to her, you say, yeah, I heard all about you. You have a baby on the way. Why are you here? That's what we call hating. That's what we really call Brett Favre and Brock and all that other crap. I've been straight up. I'm being honest. I am here. No, you're being too honest, sir. So <laughs> that was too honest. That's so not too honest. Honest. No, that was too honest. too honest. You didn't use that shit. There was 30 women. Yeah, I was only interested in this one, and she already knew who I was, and I had a child on the way, and all this other good stuff. I had a child on the way, but me and the baby's mama are no longer together. She dissed me. She treated me like crap. She said, the minute the baby comes out, it's mine, and she don't want nothing to do with it. There, there to me. What's your number? Can you come for me? What can you do for me? And that's how you work that out. Can you come for me? I want her to go on me? <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, hey, well, that's it. That's it for tonight. I actually changed my mind. I do believe there's a thing being too honest in this because of this man right here who ruined my life. So, uh, <laughs> I think wasn't that guy, man. You got a bad right. one. Uh, I, am, feel in control. I don't feel in charge at all. I feel Dave seconds. was in charge that day. I feel Dave was in charge right there. This was, uh, this was definitely one of my, uh, our most unorganized videos, and I apologize for that, but hopefully you had a lot of fun watching it, as I know we had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, so, I thank the uh, audience members in the back for being quiet. You know, the bag of bones <laughs> and his uh, girl. Uh, <laughs> Boo loving at his best. I uh, also like to thank the cameraman for being the most interactive cameraman we have <laughs> ever had. <laughs> As half this video, you see his face <laughs> giving little comments and stuff like that. So I do kind of want to give, let him do his final thought, like via Jerry Springer, uh, <laughs> at the end. <laughs> but, <laughs> but for Dave, for Joe, for Jonathan, I'm Chris. We'll see you next time. Uh, we'll turn it over to the cameraman. Thanks for watching Dynasty Roundtable. When it comes to six-month-old Josiah. You are not the father. <laughs>
this is this is the time when the girl, the big fat girl, goes crying on the red couch. Peace. Too honest.